made it to the finals. We are so close to the end of Cornstalk Unmasked, Season 1. Tonight, we have the final two contestants in the competition singing their hearts out. And I've got to tell you, they both came to win. Tonight might be the best performances we've seen all season. But before we get to those, we'll be unmasking the Penguin. Last week, our panel unanimously guessed that the Penguin was Alex Hunt. Now let's see if they were right. Hi, everybody. It's me, Alex Hunt, in the Hunt Auditorium. Uh, I just wanted to give some quick thank yous. Thank you so much to the panel for all your comments and your kind words. Um, thank you so much to the other contestants. It's been so great to sing alongside so many uh, well-known Peoria names. Uh, thank you so much to Kenny, who is putting all of this together and putting all the time and energy it takes to get everybody's videos in. Um, and thank you, special thank you to all of the people who are voting and donating to Cornstock Theater. Uh, Cornstock has been, you know, my summer home really really for the past two years has really been a big part of my life. Um, and while this is no direct substitute, it has definitely been great to share our love for musical theater um, and performing and all that fun stuff. So um, I'm very excited to not have to sing under this giant mask anymore. Uh, good luck to the final two contestants. I'm excited to see who takes away with the gold. Bye, everybody. Oh, yes. uh -huh. oh, oh guys. You had a good Great run. job, yeah. Alex. Great <laughs> job. <laughs> We'll miss you and your scary mask. Yes, that was freaky. Fantastic job on the mask. Little yeah. freaky. A huge thank you to Alex for participating in Cornstalk Unmasked, and congratulations for making it to the final three. Tonight, we'll be doing things a little differently with our contestant clues. I've asked Miss Piggy and Sheep to tell me about their theater journey. So before each performance, you'll get to learn a little more about our contestants. First up, Miss Piggy. I've been singing for as long as I can remember. I started out doing dinner theater at the age of five, and I did my first musical when I was eight. Theater has always been a way of life for me. I never had a moment where I decided to do it. I was just always surrounded by it, and it felt natural. My family and I all did theater together, and I met some of my closest friends performing. After college, I wasn't able to do theater as much because of my work schedule, and uh, not being able to perform really brought me down. I was finally able to change my work schedule and do a show recently, and it just felt like coming home again. In doing theater, I'm able to be my true self and I'm able to pursue my passion and grow as an artist and an individual. I'm always so thankful for the mentors that supported me and encouraged me, and I'm also especially grateful for Cornstalk and being able to call it home. On my own, pretending he's beside me, all alone, with him till morning without him I feel his arms around me and when I lose my way I close my eyes and he has found me in the rain the pavement shines like silver all the lights are misty darkness the trees are full of starlight and all I see is him and me forever and forever and I know it's only in my mind that I'm talking to myself and not to him and all Without him, the world 
but only on my own. I'm going to say both Miss Piggy and Sheep. Dang, did we save up for the very end or what? You both rocked it. Um, Miss Piggy, great job. Great performance. Um, have loved everything all the way through. Um, I'm going to throw out something a little bit random. I am still pretty much on the Melissa Blaine train. However, I did have a not so anonymous tip that Miss Piggy is actually Nate Downs. I'm Miss Piggy. <laughs> We started this. Who would have known that the finale, the final two of the first season of Cornstalk Unmasked, was going to be a barnyard showdown? I didn't see it coming. I guess if you're in season two, be a farm animal, you'll go far. This is Melissa. She's been sticking to um, songs that of roles that she has played in the past. Um, she pulled out a big gun for the finale. I think she did them all in kind of the right order because um, she was good and got even better. And then she was best tonight. So uh, Miss Piggy was awesome. And I say it's Melissa Blaine. Miss Piggy did a fantastic job, great performance, um, really hit it out of the ballpark, and I'm going along with who I guessed last week, which is everybody's guest, Melissa Blaine. Way to go, Miss Piggy, way to knock it out of the park, listening to her video story about her um, life in theater, just further cements the fact that um, this fantastic performance was done by none other than Melissa Blaine. Fabulous job, Melissa. I loved it. And I loved hearing how your voice has changed and matured over the 10 years. So awesome job. Outstanding job. Um, I've been with saying it's Melissa Blaine from the beginning on this. I'm still very confident that it is. And it's been great hearing you sing all these songs of the roles you've had before. I remember hearing you perform these roles on stage. And like Aaron said, late Miss 10 years later, you have still got it. And I love you, Melissa Blaine. Great job. Great job again, Miss Piggy. I think all of the songs, except for one that you've sung in this competition, I've heard you sing live. I saw you play this part at Cornstock um, when you sang this, when Pam directed it. You sounded great then, you sounded great now. And once again, this is Melissa Blaine, 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 Blaine. Our panel thought this person was beneath the mask. Who do you think it is? And now, the sheep. Theater started for me back when I was really young. Um, my aunt was in a high school production of The King and I. And I was in kindergarten, and they were having auditions for children to play the royal children. And I was lucky enough to be one of the children who got to perform in the show. Um, that was the first show I ever saw and the first show I ever got to be a part of. Um, and then from there, my love of theater just grew. I stayed in theater all through grade school and all through high school. I was involved in all the high school productions I could be a part of. And because of my love of theater, I decided to go ahead and give it a shot in college. I had no idea what else I wanted to do. And being a Broadway star, I sounded like the best.
I love your versatility as a singer. I um, did not expect you to sing a song like this going from the belt for uh, Don't Wait On My Parade, the Barbra Streisand, into a strong head voice for Think Of Me from Phantom. Um, you've got some powerhouse vocals, great job. Um, this has been the one that I have not been able to guess, but when she talked about moving to Peoria, um, everybody's been guessing Autumn, and she did just move to Peoria, and her first show was Rock of Ages. So based on the bandwagon, I'm going to guess Autumn. Wonderful job, Autumn. Love ya. Fantastic song choice. Um, beautiful voice. Great performance. Um, I said it from the beginning, and I'm going to say it again this week. This is Autumn Van Dieven. I've known or I've thought I knew since day one that it was Autumn. And I know Autumn's story about how she got into theater somewhat, um, but hearing her version of it tonight, I learned a lot more, which I think was interesting that her first show was King and I, um, I still say it is autumn and uh, nice job. I loved your story in the beginning. You uh, honestly blew me away. Like I said, autumn, who's the sheep, we have not seen you do enough musicals in this area. So please audition for a musical. You have a fabulous voice and I am a person that thinks Phantom of the Opera is very overrated, but I am a fan of yours, and you did a great job. Bob, Bob, beautiful. Um, that was a wonderful, wonderful rendition of even, even Jeffrey, who was just watching Phantom of the Opera online with me a couple weeks ago, really enjoyed your performance. Um, I'm stumped with this one, though. Um, I, I've kind of guessed around on it and I, I kept saying it was Kelsey McComb, but you know, the voice is a little too deep for Kelsey's. So I'm just, at this point, I'm going to go with, I don't know, cause I'm just not sure. I adore you. You've been so much fun to watch and you've picked some really cool songs. And then this pick and phantom is a, that's a big one. So I, I, I was a little, sometimes that can be too much and you owned it and you rocked it and it was amazing. And I just love you to death. And I'm really excited to see you unmasked, Autumn. Amazing. Fantastic job. Um, I had the pleasure of going to school with Sierra Bogus, who obviously played Christine forever. Um, and wow, you give her a run for her money. So way to go, Miss Autumn. Um, we definitely need to see you on the stage more in singing roles. Our um, panel thought this person was beneath the mask. Who do you think it is? As I said before, two of the best performances this season. Congratulations to both Sheep and Miss Piggy on making it to the finals. Now it's your turn to vote for your absolute favorite performance. Both contestants will be unmasked in the next episode, but only one can claim the title of Cornstalk Unmasked Season 1 Champion. 
Remember that when you vote tonight, a donation of $20 will get you a vote to bring back your favorite character, and $40 will get you a Cornstalk Unmasked t-shirt in royal blue. Tune in Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. for the season finale of Cornstalk Unmasked, where we'll find out the identity of the sheep and Miss Piggy. We'll also be bringing back one eliminated character, and we'll have an extra special surprise performance for you. Oh, and we'll crown the champion. Thanks again for all of your support. Now stay safe, and don't forget your mask. <laughs>